All right, guys, they're playing uh, some uh, Nautilus top lane into a Silas. And uh, what we have this game is Grasp, Demolish, Conditioning, Overgrowth, uh, Biscuits, and then also Cosmic. This game, we're going to go for like a kanky slash unkillable build. And of course, we're also going to be a lane poly at the same time while doing so. Not as top lane, like believe it or not, back in the day was actually a meta top laner um, for a short little while. So this is something that I know is going to work. It's just that like it's not as meta anymore as it used to be, but um, it's something that never changed. It's actually still a pretty solid pick. I think I'm going to hit my... Um, I could go for my Q here. I will. Hmm. Nice. Oh, Nautilus OP. GG. Whew. This is actually pretty good. I like it. Not a stop is actually... Uh, I know that you guys have been asking for this for days, man. Not for days, even months. Like, I've seen so many people asking for not a stop lane. Like, all day. Infinite... Dude, I think this might be the number one most requested right now. Actually, I've seen so many two comments. But, um... Let's actually go with the first item. What I want to do is I want to go for a hard steel build. Um, but before we are going to do that, I'm just going to go for some Bramble. Because I want to like, uh, I want to cut the healing from the Silas. The Silas is like a lot of healing. If you go for Bramble, you can cut that healing in half. Or well, half, like 40%. I want to make sure that we cut that healing as much as possible. And then afterwards, I think we're going to go with the uh, Heart Steel. Probably. I'm going to do some stacking with Heart Steel. Okay, let's go. An enemy has been slain. Gotta be careful. I need to wave to be in a good spot. Also, I think what we're going to do is go for like an E Max. Is what I'm thinking. Because I believe that E... Let me check the numbers here. Actually does a lot of raw damage. Let's do it. Perfect. Make sure we thin out the wave a little bit. <sighs> Did not hit. It's okay, bro. I wonder if we can beat him here. Hmm. Sidestep. Let's go. Goodbye, buddy. Sorry, dude. Nautilus on its way. We're making uh, some aggressive plays with it. I'm actually kind of impressed with like how strong Nautilus is. What on earth is this champion, man? Like I knew that this champion's been working in the past like years ago, but like it's actually working surprisingly well. Even right now as an off-meta pick. This is actually kind of broken. I like it. It's not bad, man. Already have like two kills. I am very deeply impressed because um, what I didn't know about Nautilus, that's thanks to you guys after asking you guys before I started this game. Um, w is also an auto reset, which means you can auto... And then you can immediately press W afterwards, which means that you can do like an auto Q, auto W, E, or you can do E, auto Q, auto W. I don't know, man. Like, you can do some sweet combos with this. I'm actually kind of impressed with how um, how good it is. Because the, the W, by the way, is also a shield. Nice. Then he jumps away, sure. No problem. I think I'm gonna keep the wave for what it is here. I wanna try and hit another free Q on him if possible. Oh, sweet. Well, it's gonna be a tough one. Hmm. 
Ever seen a Nautilus 1v2? Today's the day that you'll figure out. Man, I cannot believe how broken this pick is. What on earth is this? Nautilus in the lane, man. This is surprisingly OP. Like, you can tell me whatever you want, bro. I don't know what this pick is, bro. I don't know what this is. I don't know. What is this, man? Nautilus is actually such a broken pick. I cannot believe how strong this actually is. <laughs> this is totally unbalanced. It's completely beyond my expectations. Wait, there you go. Dude, this is beyond my expectations. I did not expect, like, Nautilus to be this strong. <laughs> Unbelievable. Alright, time to walk back. I am deeply impressed, man. I am very deeply impressed because you hit the auto, you hit the Q. And then the Q is, uh, does 84 damage. On top of that stuns your opponent. Then if you press E and they're standing close, it will hit multiple times. Plus, it's another slow. Your W is an auto and then the shield. So if you auto, does the, you know, does damage, does a shield. Plus, it's an auto reset. Your passive is, again, more damage and roots your opponent. And your ultimate is, an, again, more damage and, and just CCs your opponent. Like, what? How is there so much CC on one, on one champ? And it... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Like, this, the, the whole kit from Nautilus seems pretty broken. An ally has been slain. I don't really know what to tell you. Like, seems pretty broken to me. And then, of course, if you go hard steal, you're going to be unbelievably tanky as well. An ally has been slain. There you go. Let's wait for him to walk up. I want to try another Q on him. Gotta be careful about the uh, the echo though. Good trade. All right, I don't think he's gonna try and fight anymore. <laughs> he absolutely refuses. The Silas does not want to play the game anymore. We got the Maokai. Pathing top, probably. Dude, the damage on the E is absolutely broken as well. Like, it takes zero skill to press E. It's actually kind of straightforward. Hmm. I want to proc the, uh, the Bullish. Ah. Wait. Oh, we're probably getting ganked, I guess. Possibility, I saw the jungle pathing top. Let me get that plating real quick. Uh, we can um, we can actually buy the heart steel. I just have to shove the next wave now. We're gonna do it. Okay, set back. I cannot believe like how well this pick's working. Already have heart steel like ten minutes in. We could have technically had my uh, heart steal like way sooner though, because we had to build the brambles fast before going heart steal, um, which is like 800 gold. So we could have had it like I think like nine minutes already. A uh, quick question: What ruins did you go uh, for the second tree? We have the biscuits and uh, cosmic, cosmic for the some spell re uh, reduction. Okay, let's push next one. We've got a pretty big lead against Silas. Enemy double kill. An enemy has been slain. 
Only thing that you gotta be careful about is the amount of mana. Like, Nautilus E actually does use a lot of mana. And this guy's back. Let's see if we can actually hit some hard steel procs on this guy. Yeah, there it is. I need to try and get it. Yeah, nice Harsio procs right there. I think we're probably uh, we're probably gonna get ganked by mid. Yep, we definitely are. Hmm. <laughs> Balance, man. Perfectly balanced. A very balanced champion. <laughs> 1v2ing with my eyes closed, buddy. Winning the 1v2 without any effort. <laughs> Not bad. Let's get that sunfire. So yeah, like we go... Um, Obviously, Heart Steel Sunfire. Sunfire provides more damage um, because of the, you know, the AoE damage coming from it. And then we also get Thormel because Thormel provides even more damage than we already have. And then maybe we go Titanic, Titanic Hydra, or it really depends. I'm not sure yet. I think Titanic Hydra sounds like a very solid choice at that point. Yep, let's go 3k HP, 13 minutes in the game. Nice. I need to try and get this thing down, but I have to kind of rely on my demolish. I'm glad I do got I do have this thing though. Thank you for the proc. Any proc I can get, I'll take it, even if it costs mana to do it. Ooh. Guess not today. <laughs> An ally has been slain. It's not how I'm like doing absolutely nothing, you, can, you just can't move forward. One press of a button and the entire wave goes down. <laughs> Gee. Goodbye. Your turret has been destroyed. What is he doing? Why is this guy following me actually? Oof. Really? Goodbye. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hmm. I guess I'm probably dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep in mind, they got like a very fed like uh, mid lane in ADC. This will be a very hard game because of it. Um, Nothing surprises me. Like, if this uh, if this guy goes full lethality, I think we can wreck him like somewhat like in the mid game. If we can get like three items, let's go for another ruby crystal. We can just keep farming the Silas. Like we keep on doing damage on him. I also think we're gonna be rotating. I want to rotate to Drake actually. Whoops. <laughs> Clean Q right there. Clean clue. Not bad. I don't even know what I said there anymore. Clean clue. Okay. Clean Q. Alright. Let's see if we can wreck this guy. We got the Drake, fortunately. An 
Ooh, I've got my ultimate available. Goodbye. <laughs> I love the flash. I just wanted to make sure I get him. I don't know, man. Nautilus in the lane seems pretty broken to me. Like, does not seem very balanced in my opinion. <laughs> Nice, another good catch. Let's get the uh, mid wave. And then we're gonna go back top again. I am getting very close to Sunfire. I need like 200 more. Let's go. Yeah, that guy's gonna die. He needs to get CC'd once. If he jumps on my ADC, I will jump up to him. Yep, he dies as well. I've got my ultimate in like 12. I wonder if we can get another catch if we walk this direction. Ah, oh, yeah, never mind. I suppose we can probably just run mid lane and just cast my R, catch somebody again, and just repeat that same process. Funny enough though, I don't even have boots in this game. Like, I'm running around with no boots. <laughs> it's so easy for people to kite me, but since I got Q, it's kind of hard to do. Oh, I missed it. Yep, dies as well. <laughs> this is so broken in my opinion. I'm just not dying this game. There we go. I kind of need to team together here. Nice. Well, this might be enough. This will be a tough one. Or not? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys, man. <laughs> this seems so broken. Um, let's go for armor. Have some more. We got 4,202 HP. Not bad. Like, I don't know who in, who in, the, who in the minds of Riot Games thought it's a good idea to let Nautilus sort of become a top laner. Like, some time ago. <laughs> Jamie is supposed to function as a support, but it's clearly being played in the lanes. Or seems like a much more viable champion in lane. Um, somebody's here. <laughs> Next, my ultimate is like very low cooldown, so I can just use my ultimate over and over and over again because I'm I'm basically getting it back in like seventy seconds again. Funny enough. Oh, we're not dying anytime soon. <laughs> oh, 
I was thanking it for so long, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. Again, we got like a lot of Harseo procs, but we did die. We actually gave away like a huge value of gold. Yeah, it's not pretty good. The best thing we can do in this game, to be honest, is just grouping up as like five people and then I just tank everything. Alright, let's retry. I think if I get Thormil, like things will get better as well. We uh, done like in in terms of items, we've already done almost 5,000 damage. Actually, we did do more than 5,000 damage because it didn't include the Bremble. Yeah. We've done more than 5,000 damage using items. Not bad, man. Let's walk up to Drake here. I can't wait to see Maokai getting uh, tanky as well. Nice. Maybe we can go for a catch. After this camp, we're gonna get a catch from ultimate. It's so easy to wave clear too. Like, it's not even that difficult. I wonder if there's somebody up here. I'm pretty sure they know that I'm just like camping the jungle. Let's go. I'll tank it for days. Still have my ultimate available too. I won't get my Q back, no problem. Thank you. Poof, I missed my Q. That was like a very important one actually. Oh, that sucks. Well, that's time to get this thing. I think I'm gonna go and get my Thormel. They wanna stay around. The two most important carries are down. Yeah. I already knew he was gonna do that. <laughs> Seem pretty obvious. Alright, time to head back. We're gonna be going for Thormel, and then after Thormel, I guess I'm gonna go Steel Caps. I don't care about AP, like, I don't care about the magic resist at all, this game. Because the only AP they have is their support, which doesn't do that much damage. And Silas doesn't seem to do that much damage either, and then Echo. Yeah, is also not that fed. He's only got like two, not not even two items. He got like one item. Two catches. Next, four thousand and seven hundred sixty-three. I think we can also get another catch. Yeah, let's get it. They're about to respawn. Guess about to die. <laughs> Unfortunately, not today. <laughs> We've been tanking it for so long. <laughs> 719 stacks on my hard steel. Let's go. 
All right. <clears throat> How much damage so far? We've done 3,700 with hard steel. We've done about 5,000 damage in, like together with the Thormel. And then with the Sunfire, we've done about 3.3k. So that's like uh, around 8 to like 9,000 damage done with, with my tank items. So far. Not bad. Okay, let's go again. Your turret has been destroyed. We need the team to start grouping up because I'm pretty sure if if we group up as a full team, like team fight's going to be uh, easy, like very easy. I will not use my Q. Oh no. Yep, the ADC is on its way. Well, I have to stop him with my ultimate. Oh, I don't think I can reach it. Man, I procced so many people with my heart steal. Like, I tanked a lot of damage right there, but turns out it's not enough. The uh, mid lane got assassinated. I had to use my ultimate to try and, and prevent the echo from, like, killing the, the mid lane. Hmm. 15 kills Samra. 15 kills. That guy has almost full build. I think I'm going to go for Renduins. That will counter the some of them. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'll take this one first. Just have some more HP. Let's go. Man, that side of the seam is pretty useless, but. The uh, Kiana and Samra are just basically carrying the game at the moment. These guys are constantly going from my ADC in my mid. If Silas is top and they all group in mid, we gotta, we're gonna have to try and fight it out because then we can do like a 5 against 4. Take a look. This is something we we gotta try fighting for because Silas still remains top. He does have teleport though. Oh, I'm taking these guys for days. Not enough. No. I had like three people focusing me, like the most important ones. Samra. The only guy who wasn't focused me was the Kiana, but my team got wrecked by the Kiana. I think this game might just be done. We lost like three team fights in a row. The problem is that Samra is basically full build against my AD carry, who's got like two items. There's a pretty big gap in items currently. That makes this game extremely hard. We can try like once more, but it really depends. If we can get a catch with my ultimate, it's going to get easier. Wait, let me check this one. He gets more. I'm not going to chase that down. Oh, 
Nice. One more, and then we're gonna rotate mid. Tough match, bro. Sucks that we have uh, three dragons, but not getting the fourth one. Because that would make a big difference. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to continue pushing. Like, there's not much to do in the side lanes. Thank you. I think he will walk to the left side. Yeah, he does. I need like 300 more to get my next item. I'm on my way. Thank you for the progs. <laughs> Probably gonna die out here. Yeah. Taking everything for days again. 1167 stacks. I wish we could get even further in the game. Like, we end up having like almost 6000 HP, but yeah, the game is gonna end right here. Man, Nautilus late. Like, Nautilus in the, in the lane is like so broken, bro. So broken. Yeah, this is not a stop. Thanks so much for watching. Please, the YouTube bit. And I'll see you next time. Peace.